Welcome to Prime Time, y'all. And today, you know, I got a little rant for y'all. Ooh, y'all, I'm hungry. I hope y'all got whatever y'all finna eat with me because I hope we're not. Ooh, shit. I hope we're not gonna be eating by ourselves. You know, y'all, I'm gonna talk. And there's some stuff I wanna get off my chest. Hold on. I should probably open this before I start the video. I'm thirsty. And I have an A or drinking. I had some crackers, but that was it. Mm. Uh, oh, that's good. I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all know my scarf? This scarf cute as fuck. Oh, girl, let's get a good piece. Hold on. This might be a thumbnail also. I'm going to have that. Oh, that might be a thumbnail. That was cute. Was that cute? I don't know. Mm. Mm. Okay. Xavier. Huh? Xavier. Huh? I'm recording. What? I'm recording. Thank you. I'm recording my bang. What's up? Yeah, <laughs> Hold on. You didn't shut the door already. Okay. But yeah, y'all. I'm gonna talk to y'all. I'm gonna talk to y'all. Cause I be I, I need somebody to talk to. And you know, I feel like I can't really tell my friends about my problems or you know my mama or stuff like that. Because they just won't understand. You know, like, I don't know nobody who has been going through what I've been going through. Um, plus, I kind of want to give y'all a little life update what's going on with me. I'm trying not to make this video sad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all. Pizza gotta be my favorite food. Pizza and hot wings. So good. But what I feel to do, because girl, I'm gonna be lying down there. Three minutes into the video. <laughs> and I just been eating. You know? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm hungry. But, um, y'all, I'm going through it. I'm stressing. Physically, emotionally, you know. Damn, I don't want to say mentally. Well, probably mentally. But I feel like that's kind of emotional. Because y'all, like, it's February. And y'all already know Valentine's Day is coming up. That is the month of love. That's also the month of my black history. Power to the people. Um, but yeah, it's the month of love. And y'all, I'm kind of lonely. I am. I'm kind of lonely, y'all. Yeah. That's kind of my fault. Yeah. I'm kind of choosing to be lonely because my options that I got, it's like, ugh. It's just like, you know when it's late at night and you only got a few options? Not even a few options, but all of this restaurants is closed. And you're like, ugh, I don't want that, I don't want that. You're like, fuck it, I'm gonna just go home and make a sandwich. Girl, that's me. I got all these, you know, all the good stores is closed. 
I'm speaking about men, by the way. I feel like all the good men is um playing, you know, gone. I'm like, these dudes that I've been talking to, girl, I'm like, I think I need to reshuffle. I wasn't even gonna make this video today, but you know, one of my little friends pissed me off. Uh-uh. Hey there. I wanna say, you know, because I've been fucking with him since like August of last year. Mm -hmm. He's one of the reasons why I made the um why toxic topics even started. Not the whole idea itself, but y'all the first toxic topic was about older men. You know. He like 48. Uh-uh. I know y'all probably like, damn, bitch. Um I like it seasoned. <laughs> It's because I don't like dating my age, people my age. They just be so immature. And they don't know what they want out of life. And usually people my age, they just trying to fuck. So it's got, so I kind of feel like I need to be like, at the minimum, bitch, we need to at least have 23, right? Because I can't. These men be disappointing me. Oh yeah, back right to um yeah, he pissed me off. I was trying to link with him. What was it? Um I've been trying to link with him shit. For a little minute, probably like oh we this man talking about he got COVID. And what's crazy is I caught COVID like right after Christmas. And so I couldn't wake up with nobody but me and him because I was really only fucking with him. I couldn't wake up with him. Oh my fuck. So, you know, I finally started to feel better. You know, my little two weeks have been up. You know, I'm back at work. I hit him up. I'm like, what's popping? Then he talking about he got COVID. Mind you, y'all, I'm going to say I tested negative on like January 6th and I want to say he probably was like 7, 8 talking about something he got COVID oh girl now it's um it's January 31st why are you still not trying to link so I I was pressed I'm like you know what fuck it I'm not even going to trip like that Cause I'm a bad bitch. I didn't get any nigga I really know. Sexually, that is. These niggas don't be ready for no relationship. So, you know, I go on one of my little apps. Not grinding, y'all. I told y'all, I can't do grinding no more. It's like, you know. So, I end up making me a Jack profile. And, um, you know, my profile was kind of cute. I might, I don't know. I might give y'all a little preview. I don't know. Depending on how I edit, you know, y'all probably gonna see it on the screen. But, um. Oh, that sprite is hitting But y'all made me a little profile. And, you know, I'm scrolling through the men's and stuff. And then I see him on there. I'm like, okay. I thought your ass had COVID, or um, you wasn't like in a mood for like Lincoln because of uh, COVID. Whatever. So I'm like, bad. You know what? Fuck what he talking about. Let me hit up one of my old hoes. Not old hoes, but you know my little friend. You know. 
Because I was in the blue. Because, you know, I could kind of see where he was coming from because, you know, even after I tested um negative for COVID, you know, I'm still feeling, still feeling the effects of having COVID. I still kind of still feel the effects of having COVID. Like, you know, I still be, like, a little congested. I don't want to say caught. I just been having, like, a little nasal problems. Not really nasal problems, but just really congested. Probably because of the weather is that, too. Mm. I have, yeah, girl. I show, I hit up one of my old friends. I went to his house. Y'all, it was good. Oh, well. I'm not going to go into detail because we're supposed to be eating together. So, I'm just going to say it was good. And who? I think he's going to have to be the regular. So, he did what he needed to do. But, um... <laughs> These men, let me just give y'all a rundown on all these niggas that I have been, I've been fucking with, like, so y'all can see what I'm dealing with. So, should I say names? I don't know if I'm going to say names. I'm just going to give descriptions. I got this one dude, right? He on the other side. I would say he like in his 40s too. You know, but they don't be looking like they 40 though. So y'all gotta give me a pass. They don't be they be looking real young and they be looking good. Cause you know, you know what I'm saying? But they may got six kids. Yes, bitch. Six kids. I could not. I'm like, you got six children. Cool guy, real cool dude. Great father, you know. He take care of all his kids by himself. Mother not in the picture. Well, okay, not six children. And they all young. I want to say the oldest is about 14. I'm like, no. I'm like, I can't even be no stepdaddy. I'm like, how old? I'm almost like, what? Five years older than your oldest? Mm -mm. How am I going to be the stepdaddy? Uh-uh, we can't do that. Okay. Mm-mm. I can't, girl. I'm not ready to be no stepfather. Now, if it was my own child, okay, cool, cool, cool. But not no stepfather, uh uh. And then we got this other dude, girl. Let me tell you about my out of state niggas, hold on. So I got this one nigga in Atlanta. Cool dude. Real cool dude, but I don't think I'm gonna fuck with him for real, cause that man he talk about he just a top. I'm like, yeah, you got me fucked up. All that position shit with me is out the window. When you fucking with me, bitch, you everything and above. Okay, I don't play that, cause I'm verse. And when you get with me, bitch, you become verse two. All that, oh, I'm a top, I'm a bottom. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Bitch, you gonna take this dick and you finna get this bussy, bitch. I don't care. So all that, I'm a top, I'm a bottom, girl, I'm gonna hear it. I'm not doing that shit no more because I was in a very one-sided position relationship for too long and I was unhappy I mean it's not like he didn't want to do it 
you know, he just couldn't. And, you know, that's why I still kind of feel for him a little bit. You know, I'm still like, I ain't gonna lie. I miss my ex a little bit. And before we get into that one, bitch, I got another nigga in Texas. He a real cool dude, but we don't see eye to eye on a lot of stuff. And I'm like, ooh, I already know that's gonna cause conflict. And then, you know, plus, I just feel like I'd cheat on him if I got with him. Like, he gonna get cheated on. Real cool dude, but we don't see, like, eye to eye on a lot of topics. So I don't want to fuck with him. And then you got, um, I started talking to this one nigga in New York. Oh, y'all. This New York nigga, this man is fine as hell, yo. Real fine. Fucking love that man vibe and energy. I feel like the only problem is, it's just like, of course, you know, he in New York, of course. But y'all, he a Gemini. I can't do it because I mean I could cause I just feel like it's almost like damn can I I can't really say he understand me but bitch the chemistry is coming okay at least with me how I feel I don't know how he feeling but for me the chemistry is coming and I'm just like, oh man, this man is fine. He's so fine. <sighs> but I'm scared because, let's say I do go out there, right? And like, what if I want something serious or whatever? I don't know. That Gemini, I don't know, girl. It's gonna eventually, you you know, show herself. Cause all Gemini's got two sides, and I'm looking scared of Gemini's. Mm -mm. My ex really done ended it for all y'all. <laughs> he did. He ended it for all y'all. I told myself after him, I will never do a Gemini again. Mind y'all, I'm a Taurus, so it's just like. Those signs are so opposite. It's ridiculous. Mm. Sometimes I wonder, like, damn, how the fuck did me and my ex last so motherfucking long? <laughs> Bitch. That's because he was only showing one side of himself. And I'm telling you, it's like, the more of that relationship progressed... You know, that other side starts to come out. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? Who is this man? You know? It was crazy. I was. I mean, because I feel like he kind of this persona, almost, of himself. Early into our relationship, and it's like, I'm like, why would you do that? Like, I feel like he was almost like putting on the show, like he was almost acting. Not acting, saying that like he didn't love me or nothing. It was like he was being himself. Like every time, you know, I was always trying to see like, oh, what you want to do? He never knew what he wanted to do. He always wanted to do what I wanted to. You know, never really said how he really felt. I mean, okay, he probably didn't say how he really felt, but like, but he didn't really say how he really felt. Y'all, y'all get what I'm saying? I don't know. Y'all, I'm just talking. Damn, I'm okay in a four already. <laughs> 
Okay, girl. You, I still got so much peace love. Um. Yeah, I got two pieces. I'm not gonna eat this second box. We gonna eat this second box tomorrow. I'm gonna finish this piece of dough. So, um, girl. These niggas. It's crazy. I'm not gonna get into my ass like that through this video. All I'm gonna say is, you know. I ain't gonna, oh, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I said I missed him because, you know. After being with somebody for damn near two years, it's like. You get used to that person. And I'm like, even though it was toxic, I was, I'm, I got used to that toxicity. I did. I got used to it. I got used to that toxicity. And it was almost like, even the bad moments sometimes felt good. Like, that's how toxic it was. It was, like... And I know it sounds so crazy to say I miss that shit, but no, I do. Like, even though it was toxic and sometimes even miserable, bitch, at least I wasn't by myself. Like, I just, a part of me, like, it's good that I'm by myself right now. I need to focus on myself. Work on my bag, you know, fuck with y'all, you know, but it's like, damn, because I already know when February 14th tomorrow around, I'm going to be like, girl, sad as hell, girl, when February 14th roll around, I'm going to be scrolling through social media, I can't do it. I refuse to have that type of negativity in my life. Mm. It's like the dudes who be wanting to treat me right, I just can't. Like, they really just be wanting to treat me right. And I just be like, no, no, uh uh. And it's like, I always want to go for the dude that who really don't want shit to do with me and just want to fuck. I don't even know why I like this. I'm like, maybe it's because I'm not dating in my age range. Ugh. Well, I like fucking niggas in my age range. I feel like, I don't know. Because I don't want to say I got daddy issues. Because, you know, I have my dad in my life. He was just, you know, in and out that bitch. I don't know. Oh, I can't really say I got daddy issues. And, you know, I had a lot of male role models. You know, my uncle, my grandpa, all that. I had a lot of good male role and, and my stepfather as well. So, I can't really say I have daddy issues. So... I don't know why I do that. I just like maturity, I guess. I don't know. I feel comfortable with guys that age. And plus, like, I don't drink or smoke. And, you know, a lot of people might if you want to drink and smoke. Now, like, bitch, I can party, but, bitch, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to do all that. Mm -mm. I don't try it. It's not for me. Ooh, my motherfucking stomach is like, bitch. I'm surprised I got full this fast. <laughs> Cause y'all, I did not eat shit all day. But some crackers. And that was at like what? Eight o'clock? It's like what? Maybe. <laughs> Six, seven o'clock. I'm gonna have this video out by tomorrow. But, um. 
I just, I really feel like I don't be having nobody to talk to about like how I be feeling. And then when I be trying to tell somebody how I feel, before I can really even finish what I really want to say, they be trying to give me advice. And it's like, bitch. You don't even know the full situation yet. Even when I do let them know the full situation yet. Bitch, they don't know what to do. They damn so. Or they say some corny shit like, focus on yourself, you know. You're young and you got plenty of time. My like, girl, you know. Like, I'm all hold out. I'm all hold out. My whole meter is damn near like. Bitch. I really feel like I'm all hold out. I'm tired of being the hoe. I want, I want a man. I want my husband. Like, my husband, if you out there, like, I'm gonna let you come find me. I can't keep doing this. Okay. I'm not gonna kill myself for nothing, but, like, bitch, I'm struggling. Come save me. Oh, yeah. Mental health is important. Self care is important. I've been really working on myself lately. You know, as you can motherfucking. But, um. It's like. Throughout the day, I be feeling real fucking good. Like, I feel real good. Like, I feel like almost like. Pure energy. Not really pure energy, almost like a lightning bolt. And then, when the sun go down, and you know, I'm just chilling in my bed, not playing the game with my friends. I'm just in this bitch by myself. It's like, fuck. Like, y'all, y'all don't know how hard it was to get used to. To sleep in the bed by myself because I was so used to sleeping in the bed with my ex. Cuddling every night. Girl, even when we was mad at each other, we was, our backs was touching. Y'all, that shit was so hard for me. It was. So I'm almost kind of like trying to like get myself back together. Cause that's why it'd be hard for me to really go to sleep at night. Cause I'd be, I'd be feeling empty. Like I'd be feeling cold, not physically, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I'm like damn. It's like, bitch, I need somebody in this motherfucking bed. No. Um. I love y'all so much if y'all made it this motherfucking far through this motherfucking video. I wonder, you know, how's y'all 2022 going so far? Because, bitch. I want to say my 2022, I don't want to say it's bad, bad. It started off bad because I had COVID. But, um, it's been all right, you know. I'm back to driving and stuff. I got my shit done been suspended and stuff for so long. I'm back to whipping it up. I don't know. It's like, I'm, you know, every time I'm around people, I'm always happy and act like don't shit be bothering me. But, bitch, when I get by myself, bitch, I be sad. I do. Like, I was watching Euphoria last night, bitch. I was crying. Because I'm just like, them Euphoria kids would be going through it. Nah, I'll be going through it as hard as they ask, but shit. I'll be going through it. And 
And I've been noticing a lot lately when, when I'm by myself, when I see some sad shit, I start crying easily. It's because I usually hold my emotions in. So if I see anything sad as fuck, bitch, I'll just be bawling. I don't know, because then I'll be feeling like it's me. And I'm like, I need to start letting out my emotions more often, but. Oh, I feel like every time I do that shit, people take it the wrong way, or. It's like. The fuck? Or this, they just don't know. Or they don't understand. Oh. Why well, I also unblocked this one nigga. Ooh. I think I'm a part of me like damn, I probably should have never did that. <laughs> I probably should not my ex, but I probably should have never did that, but because like girl I don't know y'all. Cause I feel like everybody started hitting me up, y'all, when I posted some photos. I'm finna probably put them up on the screen or whatever. I post these photos. So I had to say some of those, some, some pictures because I'm like, I just felt like my phone was drying up. Like, I'm like, I'm lonely, bitch. But then after I post that, you know, my phone blowing up. It started blowing up so much, bitch, I had to move Snapchat to my other phone. So that's why I just be responding to them Snapchat messages late as hell. I'm sorry if you, if me and you be communicating on Snapchat, but. Bitch, I just don't be seeing it, because I be tired. I'm going to be going through it. Because, bitch, I don't know. Because he hit me up, the dude that I unblocked. Because I don't want to say I unblocked him on Thursday. And then he texted me on Saturday. Because I was in by texting first. Because, bitch, I got too much pride. <laughs> I do. I got too much pride. Uh-uh. I could never. I die first. He hit me up, talking about how he missed me and stuff like that. And I'm just like, damn. So I pursue a relationship with the man. I'm not crying, y'all. You know, my eyes is just watering. Because, you know, this light is bright. And I'm getting full as fuck. But, um. And uh, he really want to pursue a relationship with me and stuff like that. But I'm like, ugh. Even though he hit me up on some fucking shit, but the way he just been talking is like, yeah, I don't know if I want to go down this lane with you again. Cause I mean, he got a job now, of course. You know, but it's like, ugh, that wasn't the only problem that I was having. I'm like, he got too much on his plate for me. He got too much baggage, shall I say. That man got too much baggage. And I just can't be holding his baggage, bitch. I already got my Louis Vuittons, and my arms is full. My bags is packed, okay? That's why I'm like, when you come in my life, bitch, I only want you to bring in dopamine. Dopamine only. And if for any of y'all don't know, that's the good chemical. If you start coming in here bringing in some serotonin and shit, girl, you got to go. Who got to go? Gotta go. You have to gotta go. I can't. Mm -mm. You know, I already gave that man like two to three chances. And here I go again giving this man a fourth one. Because I'm so lonely. And bored. <laughs> but I will say this is last motherfucking chance, bitch. Well, this is not his last motherfucking chance because, bitch. Even though I said I was, you know, I'm feeling all holed out and stuff. 
Bitch, I'm about to be a hoe because them niggas on Jack was kind of fine. Okay? Them niggas was fine. Okay? There's some fine niggas on there. It's different from Grindr. Like, Grindr is where, you know, all the old fat people be at. You know, it's mainly like, I want to say 70% Caucasian. Don't get me wrong. You know, I love, you know, my unseasoned men, but. I be needing some. Like, lately, I just been needing flavor, you know? The Caucasian haven't really been doing it for me. Like, mm -mm, I don't know. Because, you know, I'm not big on race. I really don't give a fuck. But, like, lately, it's just something about the chocolate for me. It's something, not even just the chocolate, just the brown skin, man, the golden brown, the dark brown, the, like, just brown, you know, yeah, it's just, it's been working for me, like, it's really been getting my gears going, just seeing that skin alone just be having me hot, you know, it be having me hot, and plus, you know, I don't mess with a lot of white men before, like, I feel like white men is the majority of my body count, oh, speaking on body count, I was talking to some one of my um damn what we gonna call him. We just gonna call him friend. I was talking, I was talking to one of my friends or whatever. Y'all, this man asked me what my body count was. This man asked me what the fuck my body count was, bitch. And a part of me wanted to lie. Like half of me was like, bitch. Tell this nigga your body count is three. My word, bitch. I'm just gonna be truthful and see what's going on. Like, what he gonna say? Because every time a nigga asks me what my body count is, I be lying. Because I be low key embarrassed on my body count. And I end up telling him, I was like, look, I'm not even gonna lie to you. My body count was high. He was like, oh, damn, you know, what is it like, you know, 15? I'm like, no. He like 20? I'm like, hi, you man. He like 30? I'm like, you not even close. He like, damn, what's your body count? I'm like, bitch, my body count. Y'all want to say my body count is like over 100, but below 200. I want to say if I really had to, like, it's probably, like, 160-something. Yeah, we up in there. I know, y'all. That is a huge number, but. A bitch be using protection. Not all the time, though. I ain't gonna lie. Not all the time. I ain't gonna lie to y'all like that. Not all the time, but. I'm real picky about who I don't use protection with, so. You know, a bitch be getting tested. I should get on prep. I should. Oh, so my horny yeah, ass. Sometimes I be so horny. I be like, fuck that kind of bitch. Come on. Come on, baby. So I'm like, I need to get on prep. Oh, my girl. And plus, I saw that they coming out with the HIV vaccines. I'm like, oh, shit, human trials. That really made my heart, like. I don't, I don't. Girl, I don't know. I'm going to have to edit that out. I just need y'all. I just wanted to talk to y'all. I wanted to rant give y'all a little life update. A bitch been working. I'm doing YouTube. I think I'm about to be a hoe again. I, I just when I have to like, even though I'm really just all hold out and stuff, I just can't be sitting in this room because damn bitch, that's when your mind starts to eat at you, and I can't do that to myself. And plus, like my sex drive too high, it's way too high. I feel like I'm a nympho or something. I probably need to go see a doctor or a therapist. 
Cause I'm like, I don't know why my sex drive was the way it is. It's like every day. I just, like literally every day. Unless I'm sick, I want it every day. It's ridiculous. It's so bad to the point where I can't even look at men the same. I can't. A man walked past me. I'm like, damn, I wonder what his dick was like. You know what I'm saying? It's that bad. I be wanting to know. I be wanting to know. I'm just horrible. I probably do need a therapist, y'all. I probably need therapy. I don't think y'all gonna be feeling like this. I'm too young to have the body count that I have. I'm too young to be this stressed out. I'm too young. Now, usually, I want positive things on this channel, but shit, y'all, we gotta keep it real. I, you know, I be having, you know, my funny story times and stuff, telling y'all about, you know, the funny parts and the scary parts. I mean, sometimes, kind of sad about making funny parts of my life. But this video, this is gonna be, you know, this is gonna be a slow one. So, bitch, it's hard. It is. Oh, yeah, y'all probably like, bitch, what's up, a piece of you? Yeah, yeah, shit, bitch, this is from Domino's. <laughs> And I got sausage and pepperoni on this bitch. Yeah. Not mushrooms. It look like a mushroom, don't it? It's sausage. I fucking hate mushrooms. That shit nasty. But yeah, y'all. I'm finna start being a hoe. I would... Damn, I didn't even really go through the path to where dudes I was talking to. Girl, well, I told y'all the important ones. That's really the all that motherfucking matters, bitch. But yeah. I think... I think I'm finna probably stop it right here. Cause this video damn near... I don't, this is video damn near an hour, but... I wanna say I love y'all. I love everyone who stayed... And watch through this whole thing. I mean, just ranting and, you know, kind of letting myself out. Because I needed this. And I need this goddamn food. Because this shit right here, good as fuck. Real good. But, um, yeah. YouTube, I feel like YouTube is really the only thing that's been keeping me going. I love doing this. Like, I really do. I really love doing this. And I guess we just go, you know, without further ado. I'm going to catch y'all next time on another prime time. Bitch.